Hi, it's Megan. So I read a fair number of beauty blogs and beauty boards and whatnot. And I answer questions sometimes. And one thing I see over and over and over again are questions about skincare. And I've always been a skincare fanatic. When I was about 15 or 16, I was saving up for Estee Lauder's Night Repair, which was a pricey item for a 15 or 16 year old. But it's always been kind of one of my passions. I wish I'd been better about sunscreen, but whatever. Um, so I just decided, since this is a question that I see asked all the time, how can my skin look better? I would put together a video with kind of tips of basically what I reply every time I see these types of questions. And um, I do advise friends a lot of times on skincare. And for the most part, I've been right. Although one always has to remember that different skin responds differently to different products. So that's one of my points here. So first point, assess your skin type. Is it oily, normal, combination, or dry? Don't just pick the obvious answer as your skin type can vary across your face. So sometimes people have like dry patches, they've got an oily T-zone. So what might happen on one part of your face might be different than how it is in other parts. Next, assess how sensitive your skin is. Does it respond negatively to a variety of products or to certain ingredients? I cannot handle fruit acids, period. My skin just freaks out. My daughter has very sensitive skin and a lot of products that I can handle put it on her skin and she gets like red blotches like an allergic reaction. So if you have really sensitive skin, assess that and make sure that you're very careful with the type of products you use, what's in them. Not that you shouldn't be anyway, but next point. Avoid paraben, alcohol, and mineral oil in your face products. Some people also like to avoid artificial colors and fragrances. These just dry out your skin. There's no point in having them. Uh, for try various brands to see which one works the best with your skin. I cannot wear La Mer. It's like $200 for a tube of cream. I've only gotten samples. When it first came out, I got a bunch of samples. And every single time I tried it, my face broke out. Most people that spend that money for it swear by it and have had great results. So it can be the best product in the world. It just might not react well with your skin. And some just make your skin glow. So... Uh, be religious about removing makeup and cleansing your skin at day end. And be religious about following your skincare routine every day. This isn't something that you skip. It just doesn't work. It's something that's cumulative. And if you put in just a little bit of time every day, your skin will really show the difference. What you do to your face, do to your neck. Not important in your 20s. I'm not even close to being in my 20s at this point now. Um, at least I don't have a turkey neck, right? Not yet. Uh, but if I hadn't taken care of my net skin, I probably would. Uh, eight. My next point is number eight. Cleanse twice a day, morning and before bed. Exfoliate one to three times a week, just depending on your skin. But do it very gently. Um, little circles, very light exfoliation. Use moisturizer after cleansing, including around the eyes. And pat around the eyes. And then I actually will pat on my face or just do the same kind of circular, gentle motion. Then use targeted treatment for your skin type or spot cream if you get a pimple. For dry skin, you can use heavier oils at night or even oil regularly. And for oily skin, you can use oil controlled toners and moisturizers. So moisturizers can sometimes be drying on those with, and by that I mean like a lotion, uh, those with drier skin type. But if you have slightly oily skin, you can use a lotion. Whatever you do, with an oily skin, with oily skin, keep it clean, exfoliate, but don't skip moisturizer because sometimes your skin will overcompensate if you're not putting enough moisture on or if it doesn't have enough moisture. Then use a mask at least once a week after exfoliating and targeted to your skincare needs. These actually make a huge difference. See a dermatologist if your skin doesn't respond to normal skincare products and treatments. Sometimes you might need prescription skincare. I've had a few friends that swear by it and couldn't find anything else that worked. Um, if your skin breaks out, let it heal. Don't pick and ignore the temptation to pile heavy concealers or foundations on. Don't further clog your pores or irritate your skin. This is another one of my pet peeves, along with not cleaning everything off uh, night and morning, is if your skin's irritated, the more you pile on, the worse it's going to get. It's not going to help it heal. So if you have a picture or someplace special you have to go one day, by all means use you know the concealer or foundation. If not, let your skin breathe. Uh, everyone, no matter how great their skin is, occasionally has a skincare issue. Accept it, accept that skin heals, and don't get stressed out about it. Like I said, when I tried the La Mer, whew, disaster. 
Um, eat well, sleep enough, and drink lots of water. I see an immediate difference in my skin if I don't sleep, if I don't eat well, if I don't eat, if en eat enough vegetables. Um, vegetable juice actually makes a huge difference in my skin, surprisingly enough. Once a month, let your skin sleep bare with no product on it at all. It's just my personal belief. No one else says that. I just think your skin needs break. Don't avoid oils or moisturizers if you have oily skin. Uh... Some products that say they're pore reducing actually are, and they do work. Aloe is great for soothing irritated skin. Try never to get a sunburn. Okay, I'm pretty good about that. I've gotten sunburns. I still have good skin, but just try to avoid it. And then last, oil-based oil -based cleansers are excellent for removing all makeup and not drying out the skin. The double cleanse, in which you use an oil-based cleanser first and then a water-based cleanser after or a foam cleanser, is one of my best ways of keeping my skin clean and I've actually seen a huge difference by doing the double cleanse and then also by adding those essences to my skincare routine. For whatever reason they are just amazingly fabulous for clear skin and I guess the third thing I've added is masks but only after I gently exfoliate because you don't want to trap stuff in there. The last thing I guess I'll say, it's not kind of one of my main points but Skincare products actually do work, and I've seen a tremendous difference in people who've gone from not doing much on skincare to really taking care of their skin and finding the right product.